Hey everybody, Nicole Simone in here from Shape It Up Fitness and my dog is going to try and get in this video for sure. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I wanted to come on and give you a quick little video because I'm getting questions about how to get a flatter stomach um, and that, you know, sometimes when, even when you're lean, sometimes you have that little like pooch. Um, so what I'm gonna go over today is how to do a crunch and really engage that core so you don't get that little bulge. Again, depending, you know, if you've had kids and that skin is stretched out, um, I know for me, I have a little bit um, of, you know, a little bump, but it's really what you're comfortable with and what you, you know, have to work with basically. So we're gonna go right into the crunch and my dog is going to probably try and jump on my head, but here we go. Okay, so when you are doing a crunch, you want to think about pulling your belly button. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, I need a picture. Okay, so you're gonna push your belly button down to the ground. What are you gonna do? <laughs> push your belly button down to the ground. So if you're relaxed, the stomach would be up, but you wanna feel like you're pulling that belly button down into the, the floor, right? Into your spine. So when you go to do a crunch, what I want you to do is you're gonna take a deep breath in. You're gonna push that belly button down to your spine as you come up, as you exhale. And then slowly lower, inhaling down. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, push that belly button down. and then slowly lower, inhaling as you lower. So the whole point is, is as you're pulling down that belly button and you're coming up into that crunch, you wanna almost feel like somebody's stepping on that stomach and try to get your, your shoulder blades off the floor as best you can. Um, Cause if you're just coming up here, you are engaging your abs, but if you can get up further and really pull that belly down, you're gonna get more of a contraction of the abs. Um, so just as a side note, I have done videos before um, on how to get a flatter stomach and it's not by doing a million crunches. Um, so I'll have to find that and I will put it in the comment section below. But so remember for your crunches, again, one more time, you're gonna take a deep breath in. Exhale, push that belly button down, come up and then slowly lower as you inhale. So sometimes it's okay to do really slow crunches so you get the feel of it. You can um, really engage the core because sometimes when you're just doing like fast crunches, you're not really working the muscles that you need to work. And that's in general. So if you're going through and you're just, you know, kind of using momentum for any of those exercises, a lot of times you're not really getting the muscle to fire as effectively as it could. All right. So that is it for slow crunches, really engaging the core. And um, you can start off if you're like a beginner, just do like five of them, right? Nice and slow. So here, I'll do five. So you take a deep breath in, exhale, come up, sorry for the dog, and then inhale lower. Exhale, come up, and inhale lower, okay? So you would do five of those, you know, see how you feel but you should feel it in your abdominals. Um, you can also take a peek at your belly as you come up. If it's coming up and kind of crunching up, you're not pulling your abs down. So you really wanna pull those abs down to the floor. All right, that is all for me today. And Trixie has found something to amuse herself with. Um, if you have a question, put it in the comment section. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. All right, uh, that's all for me today. You can learn more about Shape It Up Fitness at shapeitupfitness.com. All right, take care.